Hey there, thanks for popping in. This is Michael Carter here from moneymike.com and we're gonna talk about awesome marketing tips for small businesses. Now, starting a new business can sound, you know, like a really exciting endeavor for many entrepreneurs. Now, not many of them know all that's gonna be required in order to be successful at first. Now, usually, if someone's willing to put in enough time and hard work, they can get their business off the ground and running pretty darn quickly. Now, they do need to know that you know, they have to create a business plan to actually follow. Now, here's some steps to create a solid business. So first of all, you know, actually write out a business plan. Okay, don't put off getting business assistance and proper training. Also, choose the location, whether it's online or offline, very, very carefully. Um, finance your business. Okay, you got to set up the legal structure of the business. Okay, very, very important. Um, legally register a business name or it could be a few business names apply for a tax ID number register for state and local taxes if it's applicable wherever you live also obtain any needed business licenses and permits needed okay these are things that you do need sometimes now understand your responsibilities as an employer okay very very important information that a lot of people ignore Okay, now the marketing. Now, once the business is actually ready and functioning, okay, you're gonna need to invest a lot into marketing in order to get people to come to it. Okay, this is where all the fun and creativity starts. Now, you know, though marketing entails a lot of work, okay, as long as you keep your focus positive, it can be fun, it should be fun, and it can really help your business to flourish. Now, I'm gonna give you guys some of the marketing secrets that you know, businesses do need to follow in order to stay right on track. Okay, so first one is actually commitment. Okay, especially in the beginning, um, you know, helping your customers realize that you have made a solid commitment to serving them and meeting their needs is very, very important. Okay, you always want them to feel as though they've made the right choice. Okay, so the next one is domination. Okay, if you're gonna be successful in your field, you gotta take a, uh, you know, really like step by step, okay? Don't rush trying to dominate all at once, okay? Um, you know, you wanna actually, you know, beat your competition, but you gotta be very strategic about it, okay? Um, you know, before you start moving up to those higher levels, take it a step at a time. Uh, number three, customer focused, okay? The main focus for any business should be to meet and exceed its customers' expectations by fulfilling their demands, okay, not yours. Now, do this effectively um, requires you to really identify your customers' needs and then provide the obvious solution to them, okay? You're trying to solve problems. Now, number four, high quality and originality, okay? When more than one company is offering a similar product, uh, the customers can get confused between them. Okay, making sure that only to offer high quality and unique designs okay, is going to help your brand to excel in the market. So the next one, five, is relevancy. Okay, although quality and, and quantity are really important in business, you know, a good marketer will usually be more worried about what kind of response he's going to get from his audience. Okay, and that's being really smart. Now, if the product doesn't fit within the market, the number of customers is going to absolutely it's going to plummet, right? Now, always be sure the product fits the subject matter. Okay, you gotta match things up properly. Now, number six, identify the target market. Okay, when you first get started, it might be actually difficult to know who's gonna benefit most from your product. And because, you know, mass marketing doesn't work these days, it's more important than ever to learn who your customers are. Okay, now, once you know your target market, you can then tailor all of your advertising to bring them in rather than casting this huge wide net out there all over the world and hoping that you get some customers, okay? It doesn't make sense to do that. Um, so guys, you know, anyone can start a business provided they actually take the proper steps. Now, once it's up and running, the marketing will take a lot of time and effort. Let's be honest about that. Uh, but you know, following the business plan and utilizing these best kept marketing secrets uh, your business should have no trouble seeing success. So I just want to give you guys these tips. I hope you find them useful. And I hope you, you know, if you're thinking about starting a business, you know, actually jump out and do it. Don't be scared. Get out there. Put yourself out there. 
start a business um, you know if you've been dreaming about doing it don't put it off you know as far as I know you live once um, you know take on that challenge and I wish you guys all the best so this is Michael Carter here from moneymike.com thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye